Our story begins here. But truth be told, it's not the village we're interested in, it's her. Every man desired her heart. There was a warrior, a frivolous prince, a conniving merchant, and a modest young man. However, the object of her desire was clearly elsewhere. At the summit of the highest mountain in the land grew a legendary flower, so rare that no eyes had ever beheld it. The young man was the first to embark upon the quest, but the others caught up with him almost straight away. Despite trial and tribulation, they were all determined to succeed. The warrior was the first to reach the summit, and there, on dark and barren ground, grew a cluster of brilliant flowers. But alas, the flower began to lose its lust. And by the time he reached the village, it had wilted away. The prince delicately placed the flower in a box. But when the girl opened it, the flower was only a pale shadow of itself. The merchant made no effort to climb the mountain. He tried to trick her, but she clearly saw through his deceit. The young man was the last, but he didn't pick the flower. Instead, he sat down in front of it the whole night long. He returned to the village empty-handed. Rather than offering her the flower, he described it. Of how it shone so brightly that it glimmered like a thousand stars. He spoke of its delicate petals, ornate like stained glass, and of its fragrance, so sweet one could spend a lifetime admiring such a beautiful thing. He spoke with such joy that he won her heart.